Hey everyone, thanks for tuning into the Performance Lab. Don't forget to subscribe below to the right for updates to new videos and a huge announcement coming up. Enjoy. What's up everyone, Morty Croson here from the Performance Lab of California and we have a super exciting breakdown today with Kyle Allen, my boy. Kyle Allen, quarterback for the Panthers. Panthers have been absolutely killing it lately and I couldn't be happier uh, to see that we're, we're having some success. We start off not doing very good and ever since Kyle, Kyle Allen's been coming in, we've been um, back winning games, doing our normal thing. So with that being said, we'll just go and hop right into the breakdown here. This is the, the first highlight. This is how we, we got them going. Nice little play action, RPO action here that we got. And if we, you could see what, what Kyle Allen just does really good is he, he sets a, a solid base for himself and he gets a the the lateral transfer of the body so he and, and this is really a, an underrated thing and you can see it as we go through um, but just being able to load here and then as you're loading here getting your body to start shifting forward so then as you drive the elbow through you could drive that elbow through with speed and also maintain the rotational capabilities within your your front hip Okay, so what I see a lot is when people try to like load here, they'll keep, um, they, they won't be able to do two things at one time essentially, where they load their back arm and start to shift their body weight forward, right? Because your arm's going backwards, the body's going forwards, and it's happening pretty much at the same time, which makes it so then as they start to shift forward, what happens is now the arm starts to come way back here. Uh, and then the and then the weight starts to come forward. So you know there's more of the same type of movement. And then by the time they get the elbow all the way through, the weight distribution has already gone all the way through. And now now you're just uh, you're trying to use all elbow or all arm or, or all shoulder in order, order to deliver the throw, rather than you can see what Kyle Allen's doing here, where he's being very very efficient in, in keeping the load back onto his back leg pushes through that back leg, gets rotation onto the front leg, and delivers the, the throw there. So, and, and again, we'll be able to see it better in this one, which is a little bit more from the side. See how he does that? See how he gets that, that elbow? You know, he, he kind of lifts that elbow up a little bit more so than, than I, would, I usually recommend for people, where the, the elbow is really high in comparison to the ball. I usually try to say uh, not to do that too much. Uh, but you can see how well he does that, that shift of the, of the body weight. See how he, he shifts his body right there? Boom. And then is able to, to efficiently get rid of the, the ball. That's, I mean, that's what it's about, especially once you get to the higher level guys. you got to be able to get Second rid of the ball seven, pretty quickly, up. right? See how fast his delivery is? I wanted to show you a, a real-time one where he's, he's pushing off that back leg. He's getting his lower body going, and he's maintaining the, the position where he, his... his upper body is a little bit behind right see how, how how that is how his lower body is going here he's he has a nice little angle of his body and then once he drives the elbow through it's just a very very efficient movement elbows coming forward he's not allowing himself to get too stuck behind him which is why he's able to consistently uh, deliver the ball on time that's what ends up being the big thing is is can you get rid of the ball accurately and can you get rid of the ball um under not very much time, right? You just have to be, be quick in, in your delivery, and, and he does a good job of doing both of those things. Excellent job with the elbow drive here, coming straight through, and, and that, you know, and then that would be the next big thing is you gotta put stress on your elbow. I did a video um, a while back about the increasing your throwing power, um, and, you know, right now I think that there's a, a, a big difference, a big separation between you know, what wants to be uh, efficient, right? What makes it so you, you don't overuse your body um, in comparison to what are going to be ways to make it so you could throw the ball the furthest and, you know, have that, that high velocity on the throw. And the fact of the matter is you're going to have to put stress on your elbow. You're going to have to put stress on your rotator cuff. You're going to end up having to put stress on your shoulder. And so he does a good job of, of driving through with the elbow, which makes it so he gets uh, a lot of 
force there, but then he also creates a lot of external rotation. We can see right here in the shoulder. So he has a lot of shoulder range of motion. He has external rotation of the shoulder. And he has a fast, efficient elbow drive. And those two things are really crucial in making it so you're going to throw the ball harder, right? We can't always be about efficiency. It can't always be about, you know, taking stress off of the elbow, taking stress off the shoulder. In order to throw a football or a baseball hard, you're going to have to put pressure on those areas in order for that to be successful. So these, by, by being able to do that, uh, you know, here, what we're trying to do is trying to make sure that you understand that, that you are going to have to press, put stress on the body. Um, but if you're able to, you know, create the right force with your, your legs or your core, you could obviously take some pressure off, but you know, you have to have the right range of motion in the shoulder. You have to have a, a large amount of elbow drive, right? You got to be able to put pressure on your elbow. You got to be able to put pressure on your, the serratus and the lats and the triceps. And by being able to do that, now you'll be able to throw the ball hard and you'll be able to get rid of the ball quickly. So the combination of both is what's key in maximizing your overall performance. Right now, guys, we have a great offer going with a massage gun. We're going to get a video here pretty, pretty soon um, where it's a, a massage gun pro. It's an awesome tool. It has like a nice LED display, uh, super quiet, super easy to use. Uh, I've been using these things to, to make sure that my body is recovered nicely. I don't throw the ball a ton. I'm, I'm more of a, uh, you know, I, I do speed videos. I do running, and so it's more legs for me. Uh, making sure that my, my recovery is good. But when I, I get sore in the upper body, I use it for that. It's great for anything. Um, right now, we're doing a throw breakdown. So you get a throw breakdown that comes with exercises, everything like that. The throw breakdown is just like this. And a massage gun, all for $129. And, and I mean, the massage guns, you typically you know see them online for $150 up. Right, so just the massage gun, you're going to be saving a lot of money here, but then you also get the breakdown too. It's a great deal. You get exercise, you get drills. I don't know how to make it so we can get, give you guys a better offer. If you're interested in doing it, I have the link below. We also have the link to, to just get like a regular breakdown. We have a link to the throw program. Whatever you guys are looking to do, we want to be able to help you out. So um, let me know if there's anything we could do to help help with, or if you have any questions about the you know, the breakdown, you have any questions about the massage gun, anything like that, let me know and we'll, we'll be able to get in touch with you. So as always, guys, thanks for watching these videos, and we'll see you soon.